getting used to the new norm of working from home. I'm Chris Bain at Keller Williams Realty. We're going to talk about the ways that you can set up a workspace in your home that is conducive to what we're all having to become accustomed to. We're going to talk about that coming up. to another edition of Spade Homemade. It's so nice to have you here with us today. Thank you so much for being a part of this uh, YouTube channel. I truly appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button below and also clicking that little bell so that way we can keep you up to date on notifications, I would appreciate that because we would like to be able to bring you all this awesome information as it becomes available. So if you're like me, you are starting to work from home a lot more. In fact, there are so many of us working from home right now that I'm actually getting a discount on my car insurance 15% over the next two months because I'm not driving at all. And I'm sure a lot of you are doing the exact same thing. So we thought we would talk a little bit about the ways that you can create a space around your home in order to work and be more efficient and productive. The first thing you want to do is to keep a designated space in your home. That doesn't mean hopscotching from the couch to the coffee table to the kitchen table to the kitchen to the bedroom, whatever you want to do. Keep one space designated so you know you're going to go there each and every time. Now, if you're like me, you're used to working out of an office. Now, I have my home here, so I'm not necessarily used to working from home, and it took me a few weeks to get a little bit used to things, and so now I don't have a desk in my home, honestly. I set everything up from a TV tray in my office with a chair, and as you can see behind me, this is what it looks like. I'm looking out at my window, which is really kind of great because I have a view of my orange tree and a pumpkin I bought in September. Now, I got this next idea from Epidemic Sound, which runs a blog in and of itself, and I got this in an email, so I thought I would pass it along to you, and it's not create a soft space for working. So what is a soft space for working? Well, it's this. Don't get too comfortable working from your pajamas on your couch. Yes, this was me this morning before I actually got dressed and took a shower. Make sure that when you're working, that you create that designated space and you're not laying around in your pajamas or underneath your covers in your bedroom because that's just gonna lead to non-productivity. Another word of advice, make sure that you actually get up, take a shower, and you know, you don't have to do your hair all the time, although I've done my hair the last two days and that was because I was making videos. Other than that, I will probably be in baseball caps the rest of the week. I do have to make a quick trip out to my office later on today, so I am wearing jeans, but you can still wear your sweatpants or something that's comfortable. Just make sure that you are not doing it in your soft space. Now, this becomes extremely important. Make sure that your internet is connected and that you have connectivity. And the reason for that is there's so much of the bandwidth that's being used in our homes that the cable providers are kind of squeezing down our bandwidth. So you wanna make sure that your internet connectivity is good. Turn off all other things. Make sure you're not running the TV at the same time that you're working or make sure that if you can turn your Wi-Fi off on your phone for a little while, do that. Make sure that your connectivity is really good, which brings me to my next idea. Identify the things that you're gonna need for your project. For example, I do a podcast every day from my living room. So in order for me to get prepared for my podcast, I have to make sure I have all the right equipment. If I'm making these videos for you, then I need to make sure that I have all the equipment and lights available to me so that way I'm able to bring my videos to you. So make sure that every time you sit down to do a project, if you're doing a specific project, that you have the equipment necessary in order to do it. The last thing you want is to get partway through your project only to realize you don't have everything you need. The worst thing in the world is to get halfway through a project only to find out you needed some other things and that you might have to start all over again. And I wanted to bring this one to you because I think this really appeals to people working at home who have kids or spouses or whatever around. 
I'm single, I can just plow through an entire day and actually get a lot more work done than I could in my office and just knock off a little bit early. But that is to work in short bursts. And so what do I mean by that? Work for about 55 minutes or 90 minutes and then take a break and go play with your kids. Or for those of you that are homeschooling your kids, be able to get much of that done as much as you can done early in the morning to make sure that you take time away from work to spend with your family. I just think it's really important because there's a lot of time that you're not going to get back unless you are sharing that with your family. And we touched on this a little bit, and that is get dressed, get out of your jammies, and go get some fresh air. Hopefully you all are out there getting some exercise. If you have any questions whatsoever about how to make your home office more functional during this pandemic craze, feel free to reach out to me at 619-818-2992 or on the web, and I'll see you soon. You can also direct message me on Instagram at the Chris Spade. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day. Stay safe and be well. Bye-bye.